How's it going, boys? It's Lon here, and um, I really wanted to try how to um. I really wanted to do a country video because um I actually don't do country videos that often because I am a fucking queer. And today we are going to talk about the great land of Belgium. Now, Belgium, if you don't know, or if you are a fucking idiot who doesn't know geography and you did not interested to this channel for no reason, Belgium is a European country right about there. See? You can't fucking see. Sorry, text message. Anyway, so Belgium is a country in Eastern Europe. Uh, bordering f surprisingly four countries. It borders the Netherlands, France, Europe, and the Netherlands, France, Luxembourg, and Germany. So anyway, we won't be doing its flag because its flag is pretty stupid. It is a tricolor of black, yellow, and red with each color representing something from the coat of arms. That's it. Okay, enough done about the flag. Anyway, we're going to move on to um, how it is split up into mainly three regions. We have Flanders with a Flemish-speaking minority. And we also have Wallonia with the Walloons. And then we just have Brussels, the capital. And the um, thing is, is that uh, Brussels is a pretty interesting uh, place. Even though it is completely surrounded in Flanders, there is a big Walloon-speaking minority surrounding the entire capital, for some reason. What's funny about Belgium is that um, people in the Brussels government can have four different governments working together to help the family. Because um, not only do... Um, the different regions have um, certain things going on with them, but they also have their own centralized government that has as much power as the Belgian government themselves. Um, not only are there the uh, Flemish government, the Walloon government, and the Brussels government, but there's also the central government, aka the Belgian government themselves. Um, with a German-speaking minority, but they don't really have that much power. They're just a community. Speaking of communities, they have separated their groups into communities with the Dutch or Flemish, the Walloon or the French, and the German-speaking minority in the East. Hello, Germany up there. Anyway, so, um, yeah, Belgium also has a lot of enclaves and exclaves. Um, we're going to look about the German minority um, exclaves, which are um, basically the five main enclaves and exclaves that make up the German-speaking minority. The reason why they are surrounded by Belgium is because of the old Belgian train track, the Venban, which is no longer in use, but it still belongs to Belgium, so it kind of acts as a border between the two um, enclaves and exclaves. It's very, very weird. But anyway, um, that's it for the enclaves and exclaves. Now we're going to talk about Barl Nessu and Barl Hirthog. So, or we're just going to call it Barl. So Barl is this little town in, um, I want to say it's in the Netherlands, but it's also kind of part of Belgium in the Netherlands with other parts of Belgium in the Netherlands in Belgium. Basically think about it this way. You draw draw a green circle, okay? Now draw a blue circle around that. Now draw another green circle around that. Now imagine um 23 of those in one nation. Yeah, that's pretty much what Barl is. It's just a series of enclaves and exclaves that form into one town. And every single square centimeter of the border is marked with the clear... um border that shows what country you are in. It even passes through cafe shops, parking spaces, making it legal to making it so that you can legally park in two countries at the same time. Also, they have um, it go through people's houses. 
So basically, people living in Bottle can basically wake up in one country and shower in the other, or make breakfast in the other country. Very, 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 very strange things. Also, we will talk about um how Belgium was created. Basically, two regions of France and the Netherlands. Basically, um, Flanders gained independence from the Netherlands, and then French Wallonia split and became part of Flanders to create the wonderful nation that we now know as Belgium. And Belgium is my favorite country because of all this minority stuff. I love their flag. And I think that will be enough. Tune in next time for the Russian geograph geo geo scientist whatever. The Russian geo geographist for next time for anything else you would want to hear about. Comment, like, subscribe, and let's just move on to the next thing. Bye bye, stay Russian.